صلى الله عليه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد This is the first episode with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal that we will attempt to study a booklet that is so tiny in its size yet it is so huge in its impact and influence over the Muslims. A small booklet that was written by Sheikh Saeed ibn Ali ibn Wahf al-Qahtani, may Allah have mercy on his soul, yet translated to literally tens if not hundreds of languages around the world. And it was reprinted in the hundreds of millions of copies. The book everybody knows through its distinctive color, usually orange or light red or yellow, but it's always distinctive. You can immediately recognize it. And the name is the Fortress of the Muslim. A fortress is a place where you go to in order to protect yourself and guard yourself from the attacks of the enemies. In our greatest enemy is Satan, the devil, Iblis. And the fortress that we were instructed to go and run to is dhikr of Allah, invoking Allah, remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. And this booklet, Allah has given it popularity all over the world. So we thought that we will give it a shot, although it's clear, inshallah, it's all dhikr, it's all remembrance of Allah. It's all part of the athkar that Muslims memorize by heart, and it's crystal clear what it means. We just thought of studying it with you so that Allah would bless our gathering. When you listen and watch, Allah would grant you the reward of those who are remembering him. May Allah Azza wa Jal make me and you among those who remember him during the day and the night, 24 hours, seven days a week. This beautiful booklet begins with the chapter which states the excellence of remembrance. And the Shaykh, may Allah have mercy on his soul, quoted four verses of the Quran. The first one. قال الله تعالى فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون فاذكروني أذكركم Therefore remember me, I'll remember you and be grateful to me and never be ungrateful to me. How do we remember Allah? The best type of remembrance of Allah is when your heart coincides with your tongue. So what you say, whatever pleases Allah, is considered to be dhikr. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And reciting the Quran, reading a hadith, reminding someone of an incident in the seerah, all of this is considered to be generally dhikr. So the best of it is when the heart coincides with the tongue. And if you do this, you're at the highest level. Now, there are other types of dhikr, which is more specific, and that is when you hear something about Islam and you implement it. So now you're doing dhikr with your limbs rather than just your tongue and heart. You're acting upon it. So this is a very huge and wide topic that covers all of our lives as we will see insha'Allah. And Allah tells us in the Quran, when you remember him, he will remember you. How is it possible that Allah remembers you when we know that Allah does not forget? See, remembrance can be the opposite of forgetfulness 
but it also can be the mentioning. So Allah Azza wa Jal will mention you among the congregation Azza wa Jal has, which of course is composed of the close angels to Allah Azza wa Jal, like Jibreel, Israfil, Mikael, and those who carry the throne. Allah will remember you. Allah Azza wa Jal would give you his bounties and blessings. All of this when you remember Allah the Almighty. The second ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dhkuru Allah dhikran kathira. O oh, you who believe, remember Allah with much remembrance. Udhkuru Allah dhikran kathira. Which indicates that remembering Allah Azza wa Jal is not limited to a specific time of the day or the night. Rather, it's a continuous process. And to those who are close to Allah, it becomes like breathing. And by the way, this is how the people in paradise, may Allah make me and you among them, will remember Allah Azza wa Jal. There are no forms of ibadah, of worship in Jannah, in paradise. There's no prayers, there's no fasting, there's no hajj, there's no zakat. The only form of worship is remembering Allah. And they will be given such remembrance by simply something within their lives as if they are breathing. Not that it is something that they're intending to do it, it becomes like breathing. So Allah is telling us to remember Him much remembrance. And this is an instruction we need to know. Are we complying? Are we fulfilling Allah's order and command to us? To us? Then Allah Azza wa Jal says in the following ayah, وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا And for men and women who engage much in Allah's remembrance, for them has Allah prepared forgiveness and great reward. So one would ask, what's the benefit of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal? Forgiveness and great reward. And also this ayah indicates a very beautiful point and issue that a lot of the enemies of Islam seem to like to revolve around. Allah Azza wa Jal is highlighting that both men and women will be equal in the reward at the sight of Allah. So there is no segregation in the sense that men are more rewarded than women. Rather, there is this equality when it comes to forgiveness and great reward. Whether you're a man or a woman, when you remember Allah Azza wa Jal, this is what awaits you. And finally, the last ayah. Allah says, and bring your Lord to remembrance in your very soul. With humility and remember, without loudness in words. So don't shout. Allah is not deaf. You don't have to do like so many people. Remember Allah Azza wa Jal and making a scene out of it. This is not part of the sunnah, generally speaking. Allah says, do this in the morning and the evenings, and be not of those who are unheedful. So there is this instruction from Allah Azza wa Jal. And there are many verses of the Quran, by the way, that talk about this, about the importance of remembering Allah, about continuing to remember Allah Azza wa Jal. And we will come to know that in the following hadiths inshallah in the following episodes when we come to see 
how the greatness and the power of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal should impact our lives and how far we are from that role we are expected to be fulfilling. This is all the time we have. Until we meet next time, I leave you fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.